Hi everybody, this is John Travolta, and this is uh, this pre-calculus lesson is just solving right triangles. It's pretty much a geometry lesson here. Let's go ahead and take care of this uh, board problem here. So we're going to take that right triangle right there, and we're going to solve uh, if A equals 38, and uh, so each little piece right here. So um, if A equals 38, then and this is 14, and if this is a sine ratio, so the sine of 38 is opposite over hypotenuse, so you should get about 22.7. This next one, I just filled in the pieces right there. That's a cosine ratio to get 17.0. And then I changed 45 minutes to degrees. 45 divided by 60 is 0.75, so that one, again, was another cosine ratio right there. Okay, number four, a regular hexagon has a side uh, length 8. So there's my regular hexagon with side length 8. Find the length of the apothem. Okay, remember the apothem goes perpendicularly down. So um, what happens is, is uh, uh, when you divide this by, um, uh, not just by 8, you divide it by 16 right there, 360 divided by 16, you find out that's a 30 degree angle right there. And so I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle right there. And it turns out, um, uh, uh, since that's uh, 8 right there, this side's 8 right here, and this is going to be half of that, that's 4, so this is going to be 4 root 3. Okay, so 4 root 3 uh, is approximately 6.9. Okay, 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, so um, if you were in my class, I'd pass out this unit circle right here, and then we'd start going over this, you guys. Now, in this unit circle, um, uh, you should know that everything, all are positive. Uh, the sine's positive, the cosine's positive, and the tangent's positive in quadrants one. Okay, you should know your 30 degrees, your 45 degrees, and your 60 degrees for sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, over here, uh, what's positive over there? Just the sine is positive over there, just the sine, and just the tangent's positive there, and just uh, uh, the cosine's positive there. So what I tell my kids is to remember this, is it always goes, all students take calculus. So A stands for all, uh, S stands for sine, T stands for tangent, and just the tangent, which means the cotangent is positive, and just the cosine's positive in quadrant four right there, and, and all students take calculus right there. Okay, so let's do a little bit of inverse trig on this, okay? So sometimes you're going to be given the sine of an angle uh, equals some value without knowing the actual angle. So for example, you guys, if I said the sine of some angle x equals uh, root 3 over 2, all right, with that, this can be written as um, uh, arc sine. That This angle x is the arc sine of uh, root 3 over 2, okay? So this is red, that x is some angle whose sine is uh, root 3 over 2, okay? X is some angle whose sine is root 3 over 2. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and... So the solution uh, of this consists of all angles that have root 3 over 2 as the sine of X. So root 3 over 2 is positive. The sine's positive in quadrants 1 and quadrants um, uh, 2. Um, so... So what makes a um, uh, sine uh, root 3 over 2 is uh, 60 degrees or 120 degrees. Okay, remember you got to know your, um, it, boy, if you don't know those, you got to learn them because it just builds from that, you guys. You got to know those. So go back and study that chart I gave you in lesson 5.1, I think it was. Um, uh, you have to know those, you guys, because it just keeps building on these. So, so you get x equals 60 or x equals 120. All right, so if you have these trig functions, y equals sine of x, then the inverse is uh, written uh, sine to the negative 1 of y or arc sine of y. Okay, so if you have y equals cosine of x, then you use cosine to the negative 1 of y or arc cosine of y. Okay, same goes with tangent right there. Okay, just some more right there. So solve this. So tangent of what equals 1? Okay, so tangent's positive in quadrants 1 and quadrants uh, 3. So tangent uh, will equal 1 at 45 degrees and 225 degrees, which is the reference angle of 45 degrees off uh, off uh, the x-axis right there. So, okay, so how about this? So the sine's negative in quadrants uh, 3 and 4. So negative 1 half, that's 30 degrees off the x-axis, so I get 210 or 330. Okay, 30 degrees off the x-axis in quadrants uh, uh, 3 and 4. Uh, gives me 210. So evaluate each, each expression. Assume all angles are in quadrant 1. Okay, so we're assuming this is in quadrant 1. All right, let's deal with this. Uh, arc cosine of, of uh, some angle equals 4 fifths. So that means the cosine of some angle equals 4 fifths. So that means I have a right triangle right there. 
cosine of this angle right here is four fifths. Remember, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. So the cosine of x is adjacent over hypotenuse. Using a little bit of Pythagoras, this is a three, four, five right triangle right there. Okay, so now I can find the tangent of that angle. The tangent of that angle equals three fourths. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, cosine of arc cosine of two fifths. Okay, so that means uh, the cosine of x from here, the cos this says the cosine of some angle is two fifths adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so this is, says find the cosine of this angle is two fifths. These guys cancel each other out, you guys, because they're inverses of each other. So the cosine of the arc cosine is just two fifths, you guys. Okay, so same. Uh, so let's do this one. So uh, let's find uh, the sine of x equals two thirds. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a right triangle. Sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse. So use the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, three squared plus, uh, equals two squared plus this side squared. So nine equals. Uh, 4 plus uh, the other side squared. You should get root 5. So I want to find uh, the cosine of that angle. The cosine of that angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, so root 5 over 3. Okay, how about this one? Tangent of the inverse tangent of 6 elevenths. Okay, just like this was 2 fifths, this is going to be 6 elevenths because tangent and inverse cancel each other out right there. All right, so this is example uh, 3 on page 307. So we want to find, uh, given F is 17 and D is 32. So let's go ahead and plug those in, 17 and 32. And we want to find this angle. This is a cosine ratio. So the cosine of E is 17 over 32. Punch in 17 divided by 32 in your calculator. You get that decimal. So then hit uh, shift cosine. And you should get angle E to be about uh, 59, uh, 57.9. Okay, and that's going to be it right there.